My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Elden Ring. We're here at the ruined strewn precipice overlook. Try saying that ten times fast. No leveling up to do. We do have that magma dragon way back in that direction. I think at the very top of this episode, I'm going to try and make a clever decision. And I'm just going to go to the table of Lost Grace. I'm going to pop a couple of my golden runes. I'm going to use the runes in order to upgrade my weapon to a plus ten. I believe I can reach plus ten at this point. Unless I need a large ember. But I don't want to have to go to the depths. I got the master key so I could skip the... Remember when I said I wasn't going to talk about Dark Souls in the series? Yeah. Yeah, me too. That was the first punchline of the series. Well, I took you for dinner. Stop today, thinking you know? I'm dead. I'm not dead every time I'm out of your eye range. Please. Develop some object permanence. Uh, smithing stone, a... Yes, okay, so I'm just being held back by, as I expected, uh, golden rune amounts. Pop those two bad boys, get myself a fourth owl. Back already. Yep, yep. Uh, I'll be getting to nine, and then, yep, ten if I get a little bit more. Oh, man. I do feel like a little hard committed to this sword now, certainly. I mean, come on. I've invested a lot of money into it. It's a very basic weapon. No problem admitting that. Absolutely an extremely basic weapon. How ever. Because it's using smithing stones and not the somber smithing stones, and because special weapons use somber smithing stones, I feel like the next thing I'm really going to want to go for is going to be not using the same materials. So it's it's not going to really... Well, it cannibalizes the money from it, but... Oh my god, can I get this to 12? Absolute. I can get it to 13! Plus 13, there we go. Uh, yeah, this bad boy going to do a whole heap of damage. This is... Ridiculous. Ooh, interesting. So you can see that pointing somewhere. Uh, I kind of want to... I kind of want to go back and have a go at a couple of the bosses that I haven't seen in a while. You know, a couple of the folks that I found out on the field, try and tack, uh, track down Knight's Cavalry, things like that. Might be a little bit of a, a boost to the old... Ego. To find and destroy those before I have to, you know, learn a whole pattern here. Yes, yes. They give you the central pillar in the room for a reason. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. I would love to get a big attack in there. That's 590... Five. Oh, forgot that that was still there. And yeah, that's 595 from a single uh, charged R2 on this enemy. They're charging for something. Oh, no. Maybe they would... Uh, okay, yeah, they were getting ready for this attack. I know that I can't stay directly on their side, or at least I can't approach directly on their side during that attack. That is still a damaging frame for them. Let's also make sure that I use the Flask of Wondrous Physic as my first. Yeah, no, 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 no. No dice on that one, bud. Oh, God. Incredible side punish that they have there. I'm going to have to... Keep keeping an eye out for that one. But if I'm honest, there is a large amount of time before it actually goes out to its damage strike. And that's, I think, what I appreciate so much about it. It's asking you still to not just stand in a cheesy spot and cheese them out, but... Yeah, you can get in there and take a hit for a, a little bit, you know? In terms of self-preservation, 
we are currently immaculate. <laughs> Great work in here so far. In terms of damaging the enemy, no bueno. And one heavy. Roll through to the other side as he punishes that side. Two lights. Yeah. I wasn't really expecting that to have enough poise damage to put him down. But I did want to see. Okay, so that's a jumping R2 for 493. Damn. 493 against a boss with the jumping R2. I can't be sad about that. Also, very, very glad I chose that moment to guard. Woo. <laughs> okay, so they powered up their weapon. This is their phase change. They now stand up on their hind. And... Interesting. Looks like they're also destroying these areas around the room. I wonder if I would have previously had the opportunity to use those for plunging attacks. Because that seemed like a, a deliberate destruction. Get away from the tail, get away from the tail, get away from the tail, by any means possible. I still have my flame talisman on, right? Yes, just making absolutely certain on that. Oh, God. Oh, it's like a bullet hell on that one. I've just got to find the gap and make my way betwixt. Damn! Flashy as hell! What? Okay, okay. I wasn't ready for the range of the sword because I hadn't seen them use the sword before. They were standing. They, they were sitting previously. It's not my fault. I want to see if I can do any plunging attacks from those top areas. Uh, there's like a thousand souls or something strewn in here. No need for it, I don't think. So this is the one... Oh! Gonna destroy it early? Yeah, maybe it's just a destructible part of the environment and they had weird mapping at the start of their second phase previously. I'm gonna try and use some more R1s. Because I did find an abundance of opportunities. I saw that tail swipe coming up. I did see an abundance of opportunities to get a good amount of R1 damage in, where instead I was waiting for uh, R2 heavies. How dare you perfectly dodge all of that damage? Absolutely furious about it. You can tell by the tone of my voice, I'm just seething. Get him! Mm, get him. Mm, yeah, not gonna take the sword's worth of damage there, but I will go for another jumping attack. Didn't even manage to get me with the tail. Can I poise you down here? Yes. I'll give you the answer in advance. No. Uh-uh. Could not do so. I, I guarantee that I would be able to push through this fight if I stayed here for another 10 minutes. Do I want to do that? Or do I want to immediately try and go to another, as previously mentioned, of the bosses that we've left earlier to finish them off? I'm gonna give myself one last try here. You know what? Temporarily boost my physical attack. Let's go. I'm gonna give it a good try. Over to the other side. Perfect. I mean, I'll be damned if this isn't the best opening we've had in this so far. To be fair, 
I really hope that each additional fight has a better opening than the last. Kinda ideal. And jump. Oh, being directly under him for that attack was rough. Really hoping they were just gonna do one of the side spits. Although I know their head wasn't pointed in the direction of a side spit, so I shouldn't have expected it. Oh. I'll tell you, they landed a lot faster than I was expecting now. Good lord. Is their speed changing constantly throughout the fight? Or am I just too used to cheesing out next to their body and I'm not actually familiar with their speed on the attack patterns. I mean, the fact that they keep early rolling that attack would tend to suggest one of those. We're still alive, somehow. Ah, okay, so here's the self buff. That looks like that happens about 60, 65% of the way. We can block the initial hit if we want to, but then we kind of just... We move into a very dominant environment for the enemy. Effectively, they get to determine how far away we can stand because they have a perimeter behind us of pure flame that we can't make our way back towards. That's the real problem. They're, they've got extreme control over our position plays. I'm going to try something. Good lord! What was that attack? Insane. Okay. So, what was the attempt we made there? It was successful. The attempt was to jump over the shockwave of the attack because jumping apparently does have some good high frames in this game. Oh, I missed it. I would have to be able to time it better than that one on that attack. And unfortunately, I wanted to unlock so I could see more. Okay. I've learned a lot about this fight. I'll be using that to destroy absolutely every other boss that I've seen. Okay, where are we? And then we'll come back here. Like, it's, it's very... It's directly next to a teleportation point. I'm in no risk of forgetting that is an objective for me. One thing I could do is attempt to take out the Glintstone Dragon here. This would be a real test of my damage, trying to take out a big dragon in the field. Also, I would really like to see if I can cut their tail to try and get a specific dragon weapon, but I'm not going to hold my breath. It's just very commonly a thing in these games. Like it has to be, but I want it to be. Hey, buddy. You want to wake up to a heavy attack? No, you want to wake up a four? Okay. Swipe! Glintstone Dragon Smatter. Whoa! Good lord! Instantaneous slam towards the ground there. They do have a recovery period afterwards. Here's their environment. Oh, God. How large is the effect of that one? Excuse me? Okay, so if I'm full running perpendicular to the path of that, I can get away. Just got to make my way a little bit closer. I mean... I do want that tail dead. <laughs> I, I suspect that maybe my best opportunity to cut that tail was when they were still asleep by approaching more stealthily. 
alas. We've already not done that, so now what can I do? Hey, buddy. You need to land, otherwise I can't damage you. No, no. Okay. I mean, look. <laughs> I can't be mad. And I also can't kill this dragon right now. Good test of our damage, though. Let's go for uh, one of the slightly less difficult ones that we've got still on lock. Uh, where is the next boss that I've left? Because I've, I've had to run from a couple of them. There was a... I mean, there's the Knight's Cavalry that are roaming around this area, but unfortunately I don't think I'm going to specifically be able to find them. There was a putrid boy over here-ish, I believe near Fort Faroth, down near that minor air tree. I think I'm actually going to go to Fort Faroth, travel back to pick up that steel so I can actually see the map. If I see any enemies along the way, they'll get the old what for. Otherwise, we'll try and find that putrid beast. And if all else fails, we're going back to Makar. Okay. Steel is out this way. Which I also actually thought was the direction for the future giant. Thought that was around here. Maybe? Yeah, let's get away from the dragons that just woke up. Clearly not a corpse. Thought I learned that before. Oh, good lord. This entire area is dragons. Okay. Oh, uh, is the big one actually standing up already? This is just an area to avoid for the moment. Get that steel and bounce. The basic enemies in this area being full dragons? Doesn't fill me with confidence that I'm not necessarily intended to be here, because what's the intention in an open world? There, there does definitely exist one, to be clear. Uh, but the fact that you can easily subvert it and that a lot of the time becomes the point makes it difficult to directly ascribe intention as uh, the core philosophy by, by which you should explore. Yep. <laughs> I deserve that. Well, we got the steel, which was what I wanted. I might as well get away now. New map has been found for Dragon Battle. We can see some points of interest there and there that seem of import. So, slaying those who live in death. We went down this Gale Tunnel. I think we also did... Oh, right, yeah. We went down the, the Gale Tunnel there and I also think we cleared out a boss in one of the towns here. Maybe this is the land, this entire land, the red area, uh, is where Deathroot has taken hold. And as a result, you start seeing it in the enemies that you kill around this area. And then that's what's going to really draw us back to this area uh, in order to go back to the Bestial Sanctum and get more things from Garonk. So in the interim, if we're not doing that, and this is not the Grand Dectus, I don't believe, But, it is on our path. Or it could be. I don't know if that one comes down from the castle. We are near the lakes. And there's riding up on the side there. Hopefully we can continue our ascent. Looking to get up on the cliff to my right. Yeah, this looks promising. 
Okay. So I see a tree again in the distance. I'm looking for literally the building we're on our way direct to. Tibia Marina. The Beast Eye Quivers. The Beast Eye Quivers? <gasps> the Beast Eye Quivers! That is Garonk telling me, hey, there's uh, there's Bloodroot in this area that you can collect. Which actually also immediately goes across uh, or against my uh, prior predictions. Now, Tibia Marina last time we fought was not at all difficult, but we did need a fast approach. Damn it. Where are you this time? Over on the other side. All right. Smoothing stone type three. Oh, God. I can't believe I missed it. So I guess this fight, the first time I saw it, I was like, this is entirely unintimidating. I don't understand the design of this fight. I guess if the idea is that the fight is going to scale with the supplied skeletons in the fight and you're going to encounter it multiple times over. I guess maybe I see it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get staggered so I can attempt to remove more of that HP bar. Next up. Oh god, are you on land? What? I mean, I guess that's going to make it difficult for you to move, which I have to appreciate. Or not. Or you just have mystical control. Thankfully, you still use that mystical control largely to kill your own summons. <laughs> I didn't want to give up there just because I thought I was pretty close to the poise break. And in fact, it looks like I was. Okay. That's uh, Deathroot and Skeletal Bandit Ashes. Ooh. I really do like summoning the Lone Wolves in particular, though. But also, I don't... I don't know if I want to summon in every fight. There is a fundamentally different experience in summoning in fights and attempting to find uh, gaps where you, a single opponent, can still take them down. It creates a lot more opportunities to strike that you otherwise might have had to identify as gaps in uh, attack patterns. Oh, interesting. I would have thought that would have had something in. Maybe it had an Ash of War that I've already collected, but then why didn't I examine much at all of this area whilst here? No, you don't understand. I said thump, you go thump. I thump, you thump, we thump. Let's get back on Torrents. Just a random giant hole in the ground. This wasn't where Alexander was and needed to get knocked out of, right? I'm just... I guess it's a hole for Alexander to get locked into later. But don't worry. It won't be Alexander's... Uh... Oh god, I've got to think of a synonym for the word fault for this punchline to work. <laughs> it won't be Alexander's... Uh, onus? It'll be Armagara's fault. There we go. Yeah, look. It works worse when I tell you the construction of the punchline in advance. <laughs> and it only really works, that kind of thing, with timing. Uh, great dragonfly head on that back target there. The ability to start leaping down there. Is this the... This isn't the grand lift. Or at least, ideally, hope it's not the Grand Lift, because I have access to both sides of it. Both the up and the down. Kind of invalidating the value of the... Uh, pickups we've made. Wow. 
Actually, when I say access to both sides of it, is there even an entrance up here? There doesn't appear to be. Okay. So maybe it is the Grand Lift. Yeah. Well, in lieu of this information, I'm going to try and make my way down and around to get to the bottom of it. Hey, buddy. You just stay there. I'll get to you in a moment. What? <sighs> I can't believe they had the armor for that. Rude, frankly. A more well-mannered, more polite enemy would have given me the acknowledgement earlier. Excuse me, sir, I understand you are trying to slay me, but my armor does have enough poise to withstand an entire endurance bar's worth of your attacks and allow me to attack in response. Sincerely yours, because by that time, I will have killed them. The letter writing thing, that's just the distraction play, baby. Mind games. They're gonna get halfway through their John Hancock and I'll have half my sword through their body. Hey, buddy. Ooh, okay, you got... You got powerful attacks, my man. Oh, that barricade shield. Yeah, good punish on that attack. I think I also do actually have a duplicate of your sword from one of your uh, deceased compatriots. A little bit more poise damage for the jumping attack and dragon cult prayer book also apparently uh a unique item i'm not surprised by it being a unique item I'm surprised by a unique item dr uh, dropping from an enemy who's not a boss give to a learned cleric to acquire new incantations dragon cult prayer book also i if if i wasn't so confident I would have gone and picked up my runes first. And maybe that would have been the correct thing to do, regardless of confidence level in that in instant. I'll be touching this grace. Artist's Shack. The Resurrection Painting. Interesting. Now, there are a couple of landmarks on here that will give us some pretty good information. That is the... That is not an air tree. Sorry, that is not the air tree, rather, in the distance. That is a minor air tree. So it could be... You know, could be this. Uh, could be... This. There's another one up here. Another one over here. Yeah. Any of those could be the one in the background. Uh... And then off to off to the left, it looks like Stormgate. I'm not perfectly familiar. And then up in the middle, that looks like Storm's uh, Storm's End, Storm's Castle, whatever it's called, Storm Castle. Which would tend to suggest that this was taken from the perspective of. Well, I say taken. They are in the distance as well. That's something I should consider. So the distance is Stormgate first, castle, and then an air tree behind. So, if the air tree is at the very back, this may be the backdrop air tree they're referring to there. Because it's actually the closest after the two items I've suggested. It's, it's quite distant. It's quite distant. Okay. So then, Highway Lookout Tower... Is there any way that these two form the 
uh, form one of the things that we're looking at. Because we've got a bridge in the near as well, it looks like. Oh, God. Well, now I'm thinking maybe it's... Maybe it's all the way down here. So there's where the air tree is. That would probably be the most salient castle in the air. Okay, yeah, it's definitely not in the south. Fort Height? There's no way that's Fort. No, 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 no. Fort Height is not as disconnected from the ground as that. No, I feel... I feel more increasingly confident that what's being depicted is Stormvale Castle and Stormvale's Stormgate. Which means Stormgate there, Stormvale Castle there, Air Tree way further in the distance. Kind of to the point of straining belief. But if those are our three locations, then this was made on a rocky outcrop with a cemetery nearby. A rocky outcrop with a cemetery nearby. Not any of these specifically a cemetery. Because it would have to be in this area, right? Fort Height. Misswood Ruins over there. It'd be like around here, I think. Ooh. Okay, let's go summon water all the way down through here. Then this over here, the Siofra River Wall. Oh, I, I need to go back there as well. My God, the map is just full of things to do. Don't make it sound like you're surprised, Raps. That's... I'm not surprised as much as, like... What's what's surprised with a connotation of, uh, of of elated, right? Because surprised is is often connotatively negative, or at least euphemistically uh, used. Oh, what a surprise! That kind of thing, you know. So making our way down to the ground level uh, doesn't seem like a great idea from there. Making our way across and then down. Mm. Now that's thinking. Ah, uh, this looks like the area with all of the encampments as well. Oh man, I should really Hang on. I acquired the painting, right? Can I look at the painting in my inventory? Please. I, uh, absolutely, thank you. Uh, examine using, there we go, work of wandering artist. Reminiscent of a painting titled Resurrection. Sorry, reminiscence of a painting titled Resurrection. The painter is said to have captured the landscape seen during the last moments of those who welcomed, of those welcomed into death's embrace. The soul of the painter and the vestiges of dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the, uh, the location depicted even now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel increasingly certain that that castle in the distance is not involved in this at all. Okay. Great. I was about to say, I'm kind of drawn to try and find a side of grace here. Just so that I have the ability to pinpoint my way back. Because I do intend now basically to turn around and go back the other direction again. Lost Grace discovered. I'll rest to get my, my flask of wondrous physic. Still happy with how that one works. Interesting. It's like some fire cultists effectively down here. Over in the vast distance is a giant guarding a small mausoleum. Ooh. 
We'll go back that way in just a second. Let me take out uh, these fools first. You weren't fast enough, and now both of your clerics are dead. Who's going to heal you? We've finally found the... Uh... I don't want to call them pyromancies. They're called incantations in this game. But there is still a pretty clear delineation being made between miracles and pyromancies. Even if they are both incantations. Okay, so single R2 is already enough for them. Single leaping R2 especially. Just making sure that none of these is going to put me off of the path of possibly getting back to the base of two. No more so fast. Alright, let's get back on the horse and use the main path for the rest. Keeping a special eye out to the right here. I hear some sprinkling. They are. Looks like there's going to be a somber stone as well as an explosion. Going to explode? Do they not always explode the somber stone ones? They have in the past for me. God, as soon as I actually start upgrading something with Somber Stone, it's going to have the ability to go basically up until uh, 8 as well. Which is pretty much what it's going to need to do in order to contest the Lord and Sway uh, Sword I'm already using. Lord Sworn Great Sword, sorry. Carrion Study Hall. Sit down for a moment, see the study hall entrance. Uh, the wisdom of the moon and stars were the missed words there. Transmit wisdom to posterity, to the moon and stars, and bury the transgressions. Hmm. So the transgression seems as though it would be the shattering of the Elden Ring. Most immediate, obvious transgression. Uh, let's also quickly change up a little bit here, get myself the floor seal still back on. Want some light. Just not extremely keen to be ambushed here. A little? Certainly. Who isn't? Extremely? Bit too far for me. Aha. Uh -huh. I see you. Oh, you are spiders and hands? Oh, that's terrifying. Let me craft some items to help deal with this. So... Gosh. The thing that immediately comes to mind is attempting to throw fire pots at them. But I have to get pretty up close and personal to be able to start tossing those. So, let's get... Fire on one, and then I'm just going to get, like, awareness on the other. So some bone darts will do. Oh, God. Yeah, it looks awful. I don't... I don't like it. I hate it. <laughs> I don't even want to look at the screen. Somber Smithing Stone? Never mind. I'm going to kill each and every single one of you with glee. I'm going to drop that precious material for me. 
Oh dear. Is that something moving down there or just the end of a... Or just the end of a waterfall? Alright. Last one. And two soldiers came out from the wall. Now, we last saw these at, uh, what was the location called again? It was not Fort Hein. Fort Hawthorne? I might just be thinking about community as I am at most times. Uh, Fort, Fort Morn? No, Morn's Gate's in the other area. Fort Farrath, Fort Farrath. So at the top of Fort Farrath, as we were attempting to explore, we saw some of those kinds of summons. So does that mean we can assume that the occupants of Farrath were carrying themselves? And I don't mean dead flesh. Ah, okay, so by exploring that underpass, we actually managed to spawn these earlier than they otherwise would have spawned, I believe. Oh, damn! Big Hat up there in the background has some serious soul sorcery going excuse me glintstone sorcery going on my apologies i'll fax them in full to fromsoft personally as well don't worry and down in the abyss eh, eh, eh. no just water. And I'm going to guess the corpses of many people who decided that that was going to be a, a, a good idea to check that area out. Actually, also, speaking of a good idea to check an area out, I think there actually is a jump-off point here halfway through. Yep. Ah. <laughs> oh, why? I don't want to be here. Oh, there's one above as well. Please. Does that abyss kill them? Okay, that abyss kills them. Perfect. This window simply serves to allow me to kill those three before we go into the actual combat. My whole body wants to revolve away when I see those. It's difficult. I need to hold a controller. If my entire body revolves away from every nearby object, I will have to implode. It's the only way. My man looking good. Barbarian beastly suits you. Yeah, I guess I'll I'll provoke the ones that go into the abyss. And leave the other ones alone. I don't need anything from them. Alright, where's this sorcerer? Oh! Precept to Miriam! Interesting! So an invader that has the ability to invade my world without saying so and it looks like they're going to jump in and out as effectively so they have abilities that normal enemies don't have so it's kind of halfway between an invader and a mini boss uh also just gonna very quickly pop on the spell drake talisman there increase my spell resistance rather than my fire resistance at this point Just 
just trying to make sure that I am always... Oh my god, Precept of Miriam! Will you stop summoning ever? Excuse me? You know what? Discretion. I think by not killing their summons as they were coming up effectively, I've just let them get way too many. Carrying Glyphstone Star. Anyone else? Huh? Come on, have a go if you think you are. No? No? Great. At some point, I am going to have to deal with the... the sorcerer in the room. But if I can slowly approach it by just taking down one of your summons at a time, I don't know, maybe it's not a problem. You haven't got that many summons left, Preceptor. And I don't know how much poise you think you have. But I guarantee it's less. Oh no, they're all along. This, oh god. I didn't even think about the fact that they could be above me as well. All of those drop into the abyss, hopefully saving me from having to fight them. That's it, huh? That has a large AoE, so I do have to make sure that I'm still pretty far away. Where have you gone this time, Preceptor? Oh, warriors, come out to play. Eh? Oddest references from 1987 right here. Uh... There's no way you've entirely disappeared. I should be hearing you try and give us the what for. Or I guess maybe you've already gone further into the dungeon. Yeah, that tracks. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a couple more darts. Because I'm very uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh scared? Terrified? Mortified? Shaking him a little booties uh, about the idea that we are just going to be snuck up from behind with all of the hand spiders that we have refused to kill on the way ascending. Because what were they going to drop upon, right? I can't walk on that water surface at the very bottom. So these ones here never had the opportunity to drop. So if they weren't going to drop, what were they going to do? Climb up the side? You see where I'm going with this, right? Oh god, why am I never looking up? I'll set myself a rule and then immediately break it four times just to make sure that... There's consistency between all of the rules I set for myself. Looking up, they're looking up. So I see rats up above us. Other than that, nothing right now. Oh boy. We had to be somewhere. I'm going to make a sprint for it. This is very much the mechanic they are, I believe, effectively trying to get me to do. Yep. They're trying to make me agree to be baited way too far in, in order to try and get that enemy first. And I refuse. You can't game me. You can't game a gamer. Distance is really rough. Thankfully. Oh no, they know where I am! Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll kill you. 
classic lethal arrow to the aura right there. It's a glintstone sorcery. I'm not actually mad. It doesn't matter. It's fine. It doesn't have to be hit scan. It's got a giant explosion at the very end. For the moment, my name is Rhapsody, by the by. The name of the game is being Elden Ring. Up at the top left, you can see the series playlist for all my content on this game, past, present, and future. Down below is YouTube's recommendation of what it thinks you should watch next, and streaming past the names of the people so generously supporting Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays at Rebob the $10 tier. And a special thanks to this episode to Doyla. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.